Welcome Cancers. I'm back guys. I'm back here to do another video for you guys. This is going to be messages from your twin flame. All right. So let's take a look and see what's going on guys. This can be, um, can go vice versa. Okay. Um, take it as it applies. If it does not apply, let it fly guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. All right, don't forget to like the video on your way in, guys. And go ahead and um, share the video with your family and your friends, as well as comment below if this message resonates with you, okay? So let's get into some things, all right? This is going to be twin flame messages. This is messages from your twin flame. A lot of you guys may be dealing with someone that you're in separation from. You may be separated from your twin flame. And you're trying to get, you know, a little bit of insight on to how they feel about you, all right? So let's get into it. Let's get into some things. Let's see what's going on. How does Cancer's twin flame view Cancer? And what messages does Cancer's twin flame have for them? so I got signs here and I also got settling as well in solitude okay so someone here feels alone in this union okay someone feels alone okay like lonely or just don't feel loved I'm getting here and someone also feels like they're settling here as well too and I got signs, okay? So so now someone is looking for a sign, okay? They could possibly be trying to figure out, you know, looking, asking for the universe for some type of sign to let them know, you know, which direction to take here. Um, it could be vice versa. Your partner could be feeling, you know, uh, lonely, okay? So I got divine feminine as well as lessons, and I also have stuck, okay? So let's see why Divine Feminine is here. All right, so I have X. <laughs> okay, I got Girl Talk. Okay, so maybe you've been, um, you know, conversa conversating with um, your friends lately. And they've taken notice, okay? They may feel as if um, your friends may be trying to break you guys up or separate y'all. Or there's been some type of silent treatment. But I'm getting that there's been, you know, like girl talk here. A lot of girl talk. Because I got girl power here with this divine feminine and girl talk. That's like girl power. Okay, so that's, you know, you may be conversating a lot with your friends, Okay. Um, and your partner could be feeling left out. Okay. So let's see. We got lessons here. Why is lessons here? Ooh, that came right out. We got wedding rings <laughs> and karmic relationship here at the bottom. Okay. So some of you may want to get married or you are married to this person. Um, but I'm getting that there is something about a union. Maybe you've been with this person for a while. You want to get married. Um, there's a soul connection, a promise. Maybe you want a promise from this person or they want some type of promise from you. But I got karmic relationships are come to a completion. So someone has closed a chapter on all the, all of their BS that they've been doing. Okay. Someone has closed that chapter. Someone is done dealing with karmics, okay? And now they possibly want to be married, okay? This could be you feeling this way or this could be the part your partner, okay? I got stuck here. So I feel like your partner feels stuck in some way, shape, or form. Why is stuck here? Why is stuck here? Okay. We got mirror. <laughs> and then look, we got twin flame at the bottom of the deck. But we got mirror here. So somebody's mirroring someone else. Like there's a maybe maybe they feel stuck because they're going off of what you're doing or going off of how what you say. 
Um, they aren't making decisions for themselves. They're just mirroring behavior of either you or someone else that they're around. But something here is about mirroring each other, okay? And we got twin flames here, okay? So let's get present energy. This is past energy. So in the past, there was definitely like someone here is trying to get a lesson or learn some type of lesson here or have learned some type of lesson, but someone still feels stuck here. Okay, so what is, what is present energy? Give me one more card for cancers. Thank you. Now they gave me quite a few different cards. Okay. So we got reinvention at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So somebody is regretting something. Somebody is regretting reinventing themselves or regret that they didn't reinvent themselves. Something to that nature. But let's let's see because there's quite a few cards here. We got winter and we got healing. And I think Pisces got this same energy here as well too. So there could be a Pisces involved. I also have fifth dimension, okay, 5D. I also have bound, and I also have patience, okay? Some of you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn here or Sagittarius. Um, I'm getting that energy as well, too, or Libra or Taurus, okay? So let me move the past energy here and bring in... The present energy they have lots to say okay why is healing here someone here is trying to heal twin flames this came out again oh and somebody is most definitely spying they're spying on you they're watching you um there's maybe some of you guys that have some type of you know are into you know crystals or some of you may have been getting into reading different types of books on how to heal yourself or something like that but they've been watching you like they're they're keeping an eye on you um they're they're just keeping an eye on you and it has something to do with healing there could be a sagittarius involved here but someone here is trying to heal or needs to heal okay winter why is it winter here we got the phoenix okay so a closing of a chapter is coming this winter somebody's feeling that they aren't enough okay something is coming to a close Some, someone here feels like maybe they're not enough or they aren't doing enough okay um and it, during the winter december january february someone the chapter is getting ready to close why is the phoenix here not today someone is still angry about something someone is still angry about something maybe they're angry because they want an engagement ring okay or someone is angry about their about you know i'm getting like someone wants a higher level of commitment here um and someone is upset because they haven't gotten the ring that they wanted or they haven't got the um commitment that they wanted someone feels that they should have a commitment by now and someone is still angry. Someone is angry because they don't have that. They haven't gotten to that place with you yet. Or this could be you feeling that way, Cancer. All right, so we got fifth dimension. Fifth dimension. Why is fifth dimension here? We got Cupid's arrow. Why is Cupid's arrow here? Self-indulgence. So someone here, we got Cupid's arrow. Cupid's arrow is having faith that love is coming, all right? So someone here is keeping faith that, you know, soon, you know, they'll recognize what I bring to the table. But I feel like until then, someone is working on themselves or needs to work on themselves, okay? We got self-indulgence here. Someone, um, you know, maybe they're, they're also feeling as if um, your partner could be feeling as if they need to work on themselves, okay? We got bound here. So somebody is very controlling, possessive, or there's some type of negative energy here. Why is bound here? Separation, okay? Separation. So sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning for you, okay? 
There needs to be a conversation, a conversation. So maybe they want to conversate with you, okay? They want to talk about this, okay? They feel as if you guys are divided, okay? There isn't any, there isn't any um, togetherness here. Why is separation here? Oh, I thought I saw a card jump. There we go. Photograph, looking at you. Yeah, this person really, really misses you. Um, really, really misses misses something about you. They're looking at your pictures. They're missing you. They're thinking about the memories, thinking about how things used to be. And they get sad, okay? They get sad when they think about you. Okay, for some of you, this could definitely be a Capricorn. I got bound here. All right, so we also have patience. So let's see why patience is here. sunglasses they're watching you okay they may be watching you to try to find out um to find out some things or try to get something to come to the light here why is sunglasses here why is sunglasses here and keys to a uh, keys on a ring so they're watching you to see what your options are they're looking to see if you got other options what you're doing um they're trying to figure out if you're having one night stands they're trying to figure out what you're doing but they're remaining patient here they're still remaining patient all right so let's get into future energy so cancers to me it's kind of like y'all got somebody on a string um Someone wants a higher level of commitment. I see that as well, too. So let's see. Let's see future energy. Here's the signs. They're looking for a sign, okay? They're looking for a sign here. There we go. And we got forgiveness, okay, and purge. So someone is going to be asking for forgiveness, I'm um, saying that they're done with something there. They're trying to purge of, of something that no longer serves them, and they're asking for forgiveness here. But it looks like someone here is looking for a sign, and then we got commitment. See, I'm telling you, somebody wants some type of commitment. Somebody wants a higher level of commitment, possibly a marriage. And then we got an observer. See, we got somebody that's watching, and then we got divine time in here divine timing so future energy gets really really juicy let's see what signs is here why is signs here separation okay so somebody's heartbroken over you know this separation like some of you guys may be in separation from this person like you may not even live together or some of you may live together and you guys just don't have aren't connected okay why is separation here or it's someone is looking for a sign or a reason to separate, okay? Someone here may be looking for a reason to separate. Or they feel like you're trying to look for something, a reason to separate. We got love call and kisses, okay? So I feel like they want more of this from you, okay? They want more of this love calls and kisses and heart kissy faces. They want that affection is what I'm getting. Okay, we got commitment here. Why is commitment here? Mirror. Okay, so it looks like both of you possibly uh, want some type of commitment from each other. But somebody wants somebody to chase them for it, okay? All right, it looks like both of you want a commitment. Why is mirror here? Keys on a ring, okay? Many options, decisions, stringing along. And then we got twin flames, okay? And the passion is between you two and soulmates, wow. So the passion between you two is really, really strong here, okay? So you guys most definitely have a really, really strong bond, a connection, um, and you both feel you both feel the same way when it comes to there's no shadow of a doubt like you two care about each other okay but somebody may have some options here why is keys on a ring here or somebody feels like see yeah we got the chaser you're someone there they could be watching you to see like they, i feel like they are chasing behind you i feel like you got them chasing 
You got them chasing behind you, watching you like this. I'm getting like a stalker. And they could be getting, getting uh, information from their friends. We got girl talk. Could be getting information from their friends about you. But see, let's see why divine timing is here. Why is divine timing here? Why is divine timing here? Thank you. Oh, we got the Grim Reaper. So time is running out. Okay. Time is running out. A decision needs to be made on how this is going to go. So maybe someone gave somebody an ultimatum on what are we doing is what I'm kind of getting. What are we doing? I want to I want to move things up to the next level. I want a, a, a new level of commitment. I want a marriage. I want to be engaged. I want to buy a home. I want to have a family, that type of energy. Okay, so... It looks like some the time is, is is running out. Why is the Grim Reaper here? Lightning, yeah. Some of you guys are dealing with Scorpio. Lightning, like someone here is like an all of a sudden. This is this is so shocking. Okay, so shocking here. Let's see. Um, why is lightning here? Cause I, the Tower and the Ten of Swords is like all of a sudden things just go sideways. Why is lightning here? Ooh, ooh. Okay. We got hammer. Somebody could be trying to sabotage you guys. Uh, someone here could be trying to sabotage something here. We got the golden mirror. Okay, so maybe someone feels that things could go left because someone is too focus on himself or too self-absorbed could be a narcissist and only looking at the situation from a one-sided you know one-sided and hammer here is sabotaging okay it's sabotaging something here so be on the be careful um here because i'm getting that like out of the blue something could possibly come up to where someone is feeling like somebody is just one-sided like they only care about themselves all right, so we got an observer here. Palm tree. Palm tree. Soulmates. I'm getting a marriage here. Or some type of higher level of commitment, okay? I'm getting that there is an observer. People are watching you, okay? People are watching your relationship. People are watching what you are building, what you have going on. Um, and they're watching this connection, like they're watching, you got some watchers and you got to be careful because we got the snake here and I'm getting throw the rock, hide the hand, the runner. So people are throwing rocks and hiding their hand here. The snake, somebody could feel could be low key in competition with you, or you could be low key in competition with somebody else. It can go either way, but I got competition. There's an enemy somewhere. Um, someone is being sneaky. Or malicious okay but I'm definitely getting like stability and growth and evolving to the next level of commitment here but there's people that are watching you they're watching you and taking notes they're watching you and taking notes okay and they're watching they're, I feel like you guys gotta have an observer all right so that is going to be the messages that I have for you today if these messages resonated guys hit the thumbs up don't forget to comment below if you're new click that bell to subscribe all right until next time ciao